The city has been here for thousands of years. The high speed railway station, not so long. It's time for a look at Anyandong, Anyan East Station. In 2013, train journeys started taking me to the central Chinese province of Henan, where it all began for the Chinese civilization. And one of the stations I visited was Anyang East. Platform 1 was unexpectedly large and pleasant to leave from, but this being an ancient capital of China, it soon became evident that it was, yes, indeed, all very artistic. Artistic, 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 there. I'll tell you what guys, I'm really out of words. I'm really running out of words here in Anyang East. The other thing I noticed from passing by the station before was that it was trilingual in signage. Despite English not making great sense on occasion, what caught my eyes was the addition of Korean. I cannot believe they're also all in Korean. This is amazing. Taking a stroll outside the station, I even saw trilingual signage on the street signs. That one other element that caught my eyes, the oracle bone inscriptions of Anyang. This predated traditional Chinese characters and was truly incredible. This was not merely artistic, it was all about culture. Traditional Chinese design elements were visible all over the place. It seemed to suit Anyang very well. And in case you thought the station was a man-made edifice of culture and arts, nope, that's not all. There's also station gardens with more elements of arts. It looked great, and the skies did certainly cooperate that day. It's said that legendary sage kings established their capitals around this part of China 4,000 years ago, so Anyang has certainly been settled for millennia. Back then, this part of the country was known as Yin. The city is also one of the best preserved ancient capitals of China. By contrast, the HSR station is not even 4,000 days old, as of 2017, when this clip was first being made. Ticketors here appear to be a little bit more spacious than that at other stations, and equally spacious was the entrance. Once you're inside, it's either gates 1 or 3 on the lower level, or a select handful of trains departing from gate 2 upstairs, where there's a good view of the platforms. Let's hope your train does indeed choose platform 1, which has direct access to gate 2 on the upper level. The wall art here is simply majestic. When I came for the first time in 2013, I was more than impressed with Anyan Dong or Anyan East Station. This time it showed me more than ever, it did not want to disappoint me. Somewhat a little bit more disappointing though was the fact that I had to leave the station on my next book train. No way to camp out and no tent in hand, it had to be the much more elegant train next. That's a look at Anyandong Railway Station. I'm back at stations and on trains very soon, so I'll see you guys around.